Welcome back to the FC24 Player Career Mode Series, guys. Episode 2 of Season Number 4. If you missed the last one, make sure to go ahead and watch it because we had a crazy final against our former club, Arsenal. And we scored some unbelievable goals. So today, the league is starting up. And I'm so excited, guys, to play in Spain. I like the football in this country. You know, the stadiums are nice. The the football culture is, uh, is going to be something that I'm... Really, really excited to uh, learn about. So, we're starting off with a game against the Real Betis. We get subbed in in the 55th minute, guys. And, um, yeah, this is the last game as well before we are fully back in the starting 11. Oh, oh that was uh, some nice football for Barcelona, guys. Quick passes. Still getting used to this uh, playstyle, of course. Come on, Sander gone past one. Do we have any options? And Nicely done. Alright, let's see if we can do something now on this attack. We have received it and we cannot get past everyone there. But we have won the ball and referee. Okay, he says no free kick. Come on guys. We have to start the season with uh, three points and Pedri. That's done so good as we can see Real Madrid are winning. Sander into Fink and it's gonna count. There we go. Barcelona make it 1 0 with just about 20 minutes left. There we go again. Maybe we could get our first of the season. But I played into Ferran Torres and he goes with the header. Yeah, guys, I'm. Uh, Playing very unselfish, I would say, right now, and I guess that's a good thing. I was a little bit selfish too many times last year, but now I'm gonna do it myself, and that is a goal, guys. We make it 2 0. We have our first of the season. Hopefully, many more to come. Come on, Sander. We have the pace here, and could we maybe get another one? And oh, what a save that is! A little bit disappointing that I cannot, uh, you know, score that chance one-on-one. -on -one. Come on, maybe from the corner kick though. Sander, and we have scored the second one. 3-0 to Barcelona. This has been a destruction. There we go, guys. What a start to the season for us. And everything changed when we came on. And I'm excited now to be... Fully back in the starting 11 because we have been struggling with this injury that we picked up and we have picked up a couple of small other injuries as well. We also get our first man of the match award for the season. Hopefully many more as well there to come. Sander the new hero it says in the newspapers. But you know it's so nice to be back after all of these injury issues and stuff that we've had. So right now I'm really excited to take a look at the starting 11 because we are... Working a lot every single day in the gym guys to be back and now it is uh, our moment We are the new striker of FC Barcelona Lewandowski is past his best You know we need somebody who can play with his feet and also finish chances like crazy And I feel like I'm the perfect player for Barcelona. I think they made such a good signing here so this is how we are lining up Sander is the new striker of course and you know, there are some areas in this team which are pretty weak, so I hope that they're going to keep strengthening it. But uh, let's see how we do it, guys. And this is going to be our first game in front of the home supporters. Oh, no. What? Guys, what is going on? Huge mistakes and Las Palmas have taken the lead. Here they are again, but uh, Arojo clears that one away. Oh my god, I mean, what a terrible shaky start it's been to this game. It's the last thing I expected after we have, you know, won our first two matches so easily. Guys, what am I seeing? We are 2 0 down. There we go. Come on. Can we maybe get one back here? Pantry! There we go. What a player. He is, by the way. Here we go, Ferran Torres into center and 
we cannot equalize just yet. Keeper has made a really good save there, and now we have a corner kick. Come on, boys. Kimmich, Pedri again, into Sander, and there we have it. Pedri with a goal and an assist so far. Oh, there we go. Come on. Take a long touch. And that is absolutely insane. One on one now. And we finish it. We have our goal. And I mean, that was such a good run. And Barcelona have completed the comeback in the first half. There we go again. Can we get this one? To anybody? But uh, they clear it away. Come on, let's try to push for the fourth goal. Just wrap this game up already in the first half. Kimmich. Look at the quick passes from Barca. And that is going to be offside. It's going too quick for me almost. I'm not used to, uh, you know, this quick of passing. But I will get used to it eventually, guys. The manager has decided that we are just going to be playing 45 minutes. Obviously, we might not be ready for a full 90 minutes just yet after... The long injury. And as we can see guys. Wow. We actually do not get the three points. We have a draw. Which is disappointing at home against Las Palmas. Which striker will make the biggest impact in 2026? I'm seeing a Marcus Rashford is on this list. Rodrigo is there. Ferran Torres. And also Kylian Mbappe. Obviously the, the Ballon d'Or is coming up in a few weeks time. And I feel like with everything that we won last season. With breaking the Premier League record. If I don't win the Ballon d'Or this time, then what can I do to actually to actually get it, you know? I know players at Barcelona have, have a big history of winning Ballon d'Or, so maybe that could help me a lot. The fact that I'm here and if we perform well, that might give, give me more chances, I'm not too sure. But yeah, guys, the, the announcement is coming up in a few weeks and I really hope I'm going to be the winner this year. I feel like I deserve it, but, you know, we'll have to wait and see. That's a bad one from Rudiger, and the referee has come over to him pretty fast there, and he's not gonna get anything. It looks like we might be the set piece taker for Barca, by the way, which I'm really happy about. Come on, boys. Kunde with the shot, and it's gone in! The keeper is not able to save it. And what a start for Barcelona, guys. Look at Pedri, what a player. Can we maybe get the second before half time? Here we go. I'm all by myself. I'm gonna hit it. And this time, the keeper is uh, not able to save it. I don't think this keeper is the best, to be fair. Because he's got two shots with which he should be saving. Maybe Valencia with one more chance before the break. And Thursday again. There we go, we've stolen it, and now we can wrap this game up, and there we have it. 3-0 to Barcelona, game over. With 20 minutes left, we are going to get a little bit of rest. Lewandowski comes on, and we have done a good job today, guys. What a performance that is for Barcelona. And obviously, we have two goals as well, but my man of the match in that one was uh, Jules Kunde. What a monster of a player that is, and now we are... 100% in the starting 11. I think we are ready to play 90 minute matches. So let's see if there's going to be anything happening in uh, the deadline day here before it closes. And there's a bit of rumors that Todibo might be going to Barcelona. And we can see the top deals. Kudus has gone to Newcastle. Let's see if Barca bring in a few more players. Because as I said before, I feel like this team is quite unbalanced. There are some areas where we have like the best players in the world. And then there are some areas where we have really average players. There's also a bit of rumors that our right winger might be going to Underlecht. Akonji might be going to La Liga as well. I don't know if uh, they're going to be having time for it. But uh, anyway, that is all the business done. So let's take a look here. Clubs anticipate UEFA Champions League group stage draw. I think that is going to be coming up very soon. The 22nd and 23rd of uh, September so very soon guys we will know 
who we got in our group. It seems like the signing of Toldebo went over the line, which is uh, definitely going to be boosting the defense a lot. Really excited to see that, but other than that, I mean, doesn't seem like we've signed anyone else. And as we can see, the squad isn't that strong. Popescu remains at Barca, so, you know, he was uh, rumored to maybe leave. But as we can see, there aren't a lot of other right wingers. I mean, we have Ansu Fati, but haven't seen him much around. So other than Pedri and like the main two, three players... I mean, the squad is not the strongest. Uh, saying that, though, we are number one in the league at the moment. Real Madrid has actually lost one of their first uh, three matches. We are still unbeaten, which is nice. Uh, but I, I feel like we should have had, uh, you know, nine points. I cannot believe we uh, we drew to Las Palmas. But anyway, guys, up next we have Elche. And as we can see, there's going to be some players uh, joining up with the national team. Just wanted to inform you that I've selected you for inclusion in the Norway squad for the upcoming Euros qualify matches. I didn't even realize they had the qualify matches for the Euros, guys. Wow, this is so exciting. Obviously, they didn't have qualify matches for World Cup. We were just randomly or automatically in it. But for the Euros, we actually have to qualify in groups and stuff. So these national matches are actually going to be meaning quite a lot. And there we have the boys as well. Holland is going to be joining up. Udegård. No, this is unbelievable, guys. This is obviously going to be making these uh, upcoming, you know, matches with Norway really matter a lot. Uh, we want to make it into the Euros. We obviously made it into the round of 16 for the World Cup, which is like equaling Norway's best ever World Cup uh, run ever. But as we can see as well, we picked up the first player of the month award in La Liga. Wow, what a feeling. A lot of great things are happening now. Bit of a rainy day here at uh, our stadium, but uh, look at this run. I mean, we've gone past absolutely everybody. Still going here, winning Trivela in the top 19. What a goal for Sander. It's only taken us 10 minutes, guys. Come on, guys. There we go. Good pressure from Pedri. Let's see if we could score another one. And that is a good save. I think this game is going to be a total domination from Barcelona, to be honest. Kimmich trips it in to Sander. They almost find Kunde at the back post. There we go again, Pedri. Let's make ourselves available. Fermon Torres over to Sander. And uh, do we have any options? Let's go past these guys. And let's look for the right winger. I think I actually have a Trivela assist uh, in the World Cup with Holland. So I'm so excited for these uh, next matches with Norway, by the way. I'm excited to see our groups as well. Uh, to see if we can make it to the Euros. But out of nothing, Elche have actually scored. Where did that come from? Referee. Come on, that's gonna be at least a card. Are you kidding me? LJ takes the lead! <laughs> no, this is unbelievable. I said earlier that I think a total domination was gonna happen. And I think I just jinxed the whole match because what is going on? How are we 2-1 down all of a sudden? And this is not a good look for the defense either. We are actually getting booed at halftime. That is something I don't think I've experienced before. In our own stadium as well. But I mean, these are Barcelona supporters. They demand a lot, you know. They are used to greatness. So, yeah, we have to you know, get the three points there. Get the lead back. Come on. Yes, referee. That's got to be a free kick. Alright, and we are going to be stepping up for this one. Could we potentially go with a shot? I've obviously never scored a free kick goal in my career. I've scored from the halfway line. I've scored a bicycle kick. But a free kick is, is a goal I've never scored. So, let's see if that could happen today for us here at Barcelona. I think the supporters would absolutely love that. Come on. Inside foot curl. Let's see what we can do. I mean, this is a big distance. We need a lot of power behind it. And that is so bad. Come on, Sander. Another trivial. Oh, what a goal. The amount of uh, curve on that uh, shot is insane. Proper Roberto Carlos type of goal there.
come on Kimmich and there we have it one a corner kick come on can we head this one in get our first hat trick in La Liga and that's both doubles in Sander oh my god that is one of the best goals this stadium has seen in a very long time lots of step overs I mean the defense is waiting for me to you know do something and I just hit it I saw an opening there to the left and that is one of the my favorite goals I've ever scored and that also means we have our first hat-trick in La Liga and what a hat-trick it is man what a goal that's gotta be at least top 10 goals I've ever scored Contact me on Twitter guys if you would be interested in making a video that goes through all of my goals or my best goals from episode 1 up until now. And like a compilation. And there we are again. Another one guys. We have 4 goals. 4 in one match. Here is LJ and Terstegen with a huge save. I mean, almost conceding three at home to this team is not good enough, guys. But luckily, the attack has been very strong today. Come on. No more chances, please. And that should be it. Referee blows the whistle. And uh, we have four goals, guys, in one game. And I will find a nice spot for this uh, match ball. High match performance. Let's go ahead and uh, give some replies to all of this. Player of the month as well. We'll, uh, we'll add a bit of a post on our social media thanking our fans. So, yeah guys. Then we have the European Championship qualifiers. Our group might be the hardest one I've ever seen. We have Spain. We have Italy. Czech Republic and Ireland. I mean, as we can see, it's only the top two teams who obviously qualifies for the competition. So, this one is going to be tough. The first one is going to be against Czech Republic, and we have to have a good performance here. Uh, it doesn't seem like I'm actually going to be starting in this game for Norway. Um, you know, not sure why uh, why I'm not in the starting 11, but, you know, I will, uh, I will work towards making it into that 11 as fast as possible. So uh, let's go ahead and have a good training session and uh, there we go get quite a bit of points for that I'm sure that we're gonna be featuring anyway in this match and with just six minutes remaining guys We have been subbed in at left mid Holland is there early go as well Come on. We have to get three points free kick for Czech Republic and I just noticed that they actually have a red card So that can help us out quite a bit here Come on boys Oh my god. No. Pressure. There we go. Alright. We have one to throw in pretty far up. And the Norway supporters are pretty anxious. Because they know that we pretty much need three points today. If we want to qualify from this group. Hold on. Back to center. And it's gone in. What an impact. And look how much that one means. That is absolutely one of the best moments we've had for Norway. The manager, Holland, everybody. And uh, the connection we have with Erling Holland up front. We just understand each other. Everyone now shouting, Murge, Murge, in the stadium. Which uh, I think you can understand what means. Come on. I want another one. I want to be the top scorer of the European qualifiers and there we have it 2-0 oh my god that is insane into Sulbakken oh my god guys we are cooking drop a like on this episode because I mean one thing that we always could improve on was dribbling and stuff using skill moves and I feel like that is just getting better and better as well we are starting to really add that into our game 
you know, we are a Barcelona player as well, so I think everybody likes that we are a bit of a more skillful player now. Come on. I don't think we're going to get one more, but we have enough, so... As I said before, Norway got to the round of 16 in the World Cup 2026, which is equaling the best we have ever done at the World Cup. Norway has never gone past the round of 16. In the Euros, however, I think we have gone a little bit further, but... You know, we've obviously never been close at all to winning it. Imagine if uh, Norway could potentially win the Euros. I mean, that would be one of my biggest dreams and biggest achievements ever. But with Holland, with Ødegård, you never know, it could happen. I mean, obviously we have to qualify for it first and uh, we almost get another one there. But 2-0 uh, to Norway, perfect stuff. What a substitution from the Norwegian manager. You know, imagine putting on Sander when everyone else is tired and also at a red card. You simply knew what was going to happen before uh, before the match uh, or before I came on. So, yeah guys, happy, happy days. And up next we have a really tough one. This is going to be against Spain, who also won their first game. So, yeah. If we win this one, I think we've got a pretty good chance of actually qualifying for the Euros. Again, we are getting subbed in in the 77th minute, so I I don't understand why we're not starting these matches. But anyway, we'll do what the manager wants me to do, so let's see if we can make an impact again. We're obviously playing against the Pedri now, our teammate at Barcelona. Come on, hold on. He's not able to get it over to Sander. Let's see, maybe now, opening up a bit of space, Erling Haaland, the duo is linking up, Sander, finish, and it's gone in again! I mean, I, I don't understand, this keeper seems uh, to not have a good episode, because the shots are just going through them. Oh, this Norway team, what has actually happened since the World Cup? This is insane! And again! We make it 2-0! Am I dreaming or what? This is insane, guys. We are definitely going to the Euros. No doubt about it. And uh, the Spain supporters are booming the stadium right now. What are we doing in defense, guys? And Spain, very close to get one back. I mean, they, they do have a little bit of time to... Maybe uh, create something here, maybe get a comeback. Gavi! And that one is indeed wide. Oh, look at that tackle! That's gotta be a yellow card. There we go, Norway with the victory, and we have made some insane impacts, guys, in these uh, two matches when getting subbed on for Norway. So, hopefully, next time I'm actually gonna be starting matches. Not sure why I'm not being played from the beginning, but. You know, I, um, I'm i gonna trust that the manager knows uh, what is best. We are back with Barcelona now, and I hope that the Barca supporters uh, still like me, even though I scored a couple of uh, big goals there against their country. So let's take a look at the group stages, because it's now been drawn, and we have Dortmund, Benfica, and Dynamo Kiev, which um, is a good group for us, I think. Dortmund is obviously gonna be the hardest one, but uh, we should be able to make it into the round of 16 here. Um, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna complain about that. Our former team Arsenal has Atletico Madrid, Genk, and Apoel, so they should also uh, make it through. And some other interesting uh, groups as well. Where is Real Madrid, by the way? Are Real Madrid not gonna be in the Champions League? I obviously don't know what happened last season, but from what it looks like, guys. Madrid is not in this competition. We have also reached the max tier in our personality, guys. So that means we have another slot available. And my question to you is what playstyle should we add? Should we go with dead ball, incisive pass, long ball? Should we get chip shot or should we get acrobatic? In my opinion, I think acrobatic could be the best uh, option here. But I want to hear your ideas in the comment section down below. Let me know what we should choose, guys. But that is it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.